Hello, my lovelies. Um, so it is week two of Protective Styles, and as I promised, this week we're covering sleep styles. Um, we're also covering braids. Um, the simplest braids of all, English braids. Um, I consider English braids protective style because they keep the tangles at bay. Uh, buns are great. They get all of your hair up and out of the way, and then you don't have to think about it. However, if you wear a bun most days, uh, you will eventually get a sore scalp because your hair is in a different direction. As in, if it's up, that means like all the hair underneath is now pointing upwards. So sometimes the follicles themselves get a little sore. It sounds weird, but it's a thing. Um, also, if you have your hair in a bun, and if you're like me and you have kind of the sweet spot, as in, I like my buns right here, uh, some of you guys are gonna prefer your done here, uh, which maybe your hair doesn't get as, your head doesn't get as sore if it's a lower butt, I don't know. Um, some of you guys like it right on top. Mine's here, that's, that's my sweet spot. But even though I have a bun in my sweet spot, sometimes my scalp just gets sore because I have worn a bun in the same spot for eight days in a row. It'll hurt eventually. Um, so braids are an excellent alternative and I'm going to show you uh, two ways of doing braids, uh, especially good if you're going to sleep in them. Um, and like I said, we're only doing English braids today. No French, no Dutch, no nothing fancy. Regular English braids. Um, but I'm also going to show you uh, two ways to put your braids up if you need them up. So, first, um, we're going to go with the easiest first, which is a standard English braid. Now, this is what I sleep in, just so you know. Um, I used to not sleep in braids at all. Um, I used to sleep with my hair down. Uh, I keep my bed pulled out about four inches from the wall and I would simply take my hair up over the pillow and drop it down. Now my bread, my bread, yes. My bed is up on risers so it's tall because my husband and I are both tall. And uh, yeah, I just leave it over and it would hang between my wall and the bed, which works great. However, with the advent, advent, uh, when we got Daenerys, Daenerys likes to nest in my hair. So I can't leave my hair down much anymore. Because if I roll over and there's just a little bit she can get into, she will ball herself up in my hair. Now you could say, well, just don't let the dog sleep in the bed with you. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I love my baby girl. So. Let's English braid, shall we? All right, we're getting ready to English braid. And some of you are saying, really? Who doesn't know how to English braid? You would be surprised how many of my folks do not know how. Um, mostly my newbies, I would, I would guess, but I've been getting an influence, influx of long-haired gentlemen, and they are at a loss. <laughs> so you need three sections. The left, the middle, and the right. We're going to start from the right. We're going to go over the middle. Yay! There we are. Now the right is the middle. We're going to go from the left. Go over the middle. Yay! Now you want to kind of keep hold of things. So we're just going to keep going right and left, right and left. As in, right over middle, left over middle. Right over middle, left over middle. Right over middle. Now I know some of you may not be able to get this far down. Um, I do have uh, extra bendiness in my shoulders. Um, so let's stop, or stop, yes, with the right over middle. And now we're going to turn around and flip it over our shoulder. Now as you can see, we're mid braid. But it's not a problem because you can also see what needs to come next. Now we were going over. Since it's over our shoulder, we need to go behind, like so, to finish our braid. And then we'll just go behind. Da da da! There you go. That's it. So, English braid. This is my sleep braid. Sometimes, when my head is sore, this is also the braid 
that I just wear around the house because I don't feel like messing. Um, braids are especially good in the winter for me because my hair tends to tangle a lot in the winter because of all the dry electrical heat that comes out of my heating beds. Um, it makes my hair very staticky and it loves itself and then I get terrible tangles and it's just, it's not nice. <laughs> so, we're at the end of our braid. Here's the thing. You need to switch up where you put your hair ties. As in, I have this much left. So if I wore a braid again tomorrow, I would switch my hair tie up to here and leave a long tail. Um, if I wore it three days in a row, I would then switch it to somewhere in the middle because wherever you put your hair tie, if you put it in the exact same spot every single braid, you're eventually going to get breakage there. So switch up where you put your hair tie. So the best hair ties I found, I want to show you, these were actually a gift, but I have found them myself now. Um, you see this is just solid. There's no stitching, there's no metal, very bending. These come from uh, H&M. Like I said, these were sent to me as a gift. They are the greatest hair ties ever. Uh, I made my husband switch to them. The other nice thing about these is that when they get gross and stretched out, you can, I have one of those little bags that I wash my bras in. I put all of them in my bra bag and I just throw them in the washer and then I throw them in the dryer and they go right back to the size they were and they're clean. So washable hair ties that revert back to size, H&M, and they're not overly expensive, but they are totally worth it. I'm just telling you, so you know. Um, so there we go, that's an English braid. This is what I wear to bed. Um, even, and I make it lower on my head, so even if I sleep always, I sleep on my side, I sleep on my back, I sleep on my other side, I'm a roller, but this will keep it from being overly lumpy, and I usually just put it to the side and sleep. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. So that's my sleep braid. This is how I wear my hair when I sleep. However, so let's say my bangs are just today. Um, let's say I want to get it out of my way. Like, I'm going about my business during the day. I'm doing things. And sometimes it'll flop over your shoulder. Quickest way is to put it through your bra strap. Like so. Which I have done if I just need it out of my way for a couple minutes, then it's out of my way. But if you've got it braided and you just want it up, then wrap it around your head. Now, some of you girls will not be able to do this because you don't have the length yet. You'll get there eventually. But don't worry because I'm going to show you another way. Um, we're going to do double braids. So then, yes, you can simply tuck it all up, put some pins in. And get some pins. These aren't even going to be the best version. <laughs> but I'm just throwing it up real quick for y'all so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can also hold this with clippies, little clippies, all the way around if you want to. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just doing a quick pin job for you. Um, so you can wear it up like this. How does it look in the back? Curious. That's actually better than usual. But you see, this is pretty. It's pretty. Could have done a better job tucking. But all your hair is up. It looks nice. It's not going anywhere. Yay! You can tape it down if you want to get convoluted. What have you. So, single English braid. That is our first one. That's what I sleep in. It keeps my hair from getting tangled. And... Yeah, it's good for around the house uh, when you need to give your hair a break from being up in a bun all the time. Sure, you can French braid, you can Dutch braid, you can do whatever you want, but a braid, period, is good and it's protective. Just remember to switch up where you put your hair ties. Um, also, Tanya and I discussed this. Um, sometimes the ends seem to get really dry under the hair tie when you're wearing braids a lot, and I think 
sometimes this sucks up any extra oil in your hair. So a little tiny bit of oil just on your ends if you're going to wear braids for the week, basically, that will help. Okay, I'm going to take this down and then we're going to do doubles. Um, look, different side, look at all that volume we got. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so we're going to do two. Um, we're going to do pigtails. Um, two English braids, or as I have always called them, Pocahontas braids. Um, and before anybody says that that's racist, um, <laughs> Pocahontas was a Native American lady, uh, actually from around where I live now, and uh, she was awesome. So a really cool hairstyle named after her? Dude, not racist. Um, besides, many Native Americans... Uh, wear two braids. So it's a sensible hairstyle. So it has a sensible name because when I was little Pocahontas was like one of my heroes. So whatever you guys. Any kudos. Pocahontas braids. Um, and I mean that in an awesome way. So you want to split your hair in two. So I try and go from the center of my nose and then go straight back. Now your straightness Hopefully is better than my straightness. Um, I'm not always awesome at the part. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Yay! And then we're going to make two English braids. Ooh. Uh, we are going to try something a little different with the ends today, though, I am going to say, because my beautiful friend Naomi wrote in to tell me that she uses ribbons on the ends of her braids because she finds that it's easier on her ends than hair ties. And then she made me a little video so I could see how she did it. So we're going to try. Um, I'm also going to link to Naomi's video, which is like a minute and a half long. So you guys will love that. Um, so in case I don't do it right. <laughs> so now we're going to make braids. Now, for me, you guys know I can't stand it when they touch my ear. So I always pull my hair behind my ear, split into three and then a braid. Um, and I always start from the outside in because that'll keep the hair from covering my ears. I just have a weird thing with my ears, you guys. I can't, I don't know why. Um, so since we, I do it this way, that means I always braid behind um, when I do uh, Pocahontas braids. So I'm going to go ahead and braid this one um, and then braid the other one. When we get to the other one, I'm going to show you how we do the ribbons in the end. So I'll be back in a second. All right. And you weren't expecting this. So this is what we're going for. Tying with a ribbon. Um, you don't have to tie with a ribbon. By all means, use your uh, hair ties. But, you know, options. So here we are with our braid. We want to take our ribbon like so. This one's going to go behind. This is going to go under this section, and this is going to go behind again. Um, and we're just going to continue our braid as such. Like so, until we are about even with the other side. Um, that also means that your ribbon needs to be on opposite sides of the center, like so. So we have a left side and a right side. So now we're going to take the right hand side ribbon, wrap it around behind and bring it to the front. And we're going to do the same thing with the left hand side ribbon around, bring it to the front and then we're going to tie a bow. Simple as that. Just a bow, a regular bow, how you tie your shoelaces, I guess. It's, if I can get my fingernail out of there, there we go. A bow. Ta -da! And now we have, well, I'm a little higher on that side, but that's okay. So there, now we know how to tie with ribbon. Now let's go back to the other. Why All right, so mine are slightly lopsided, but that's because I was trying to look down and also in the mirror at the camera so I could see Anyways, this one where I wasn't doing that looks pretty good. This one's a little less, but you know, I'll get the hang of it eventually. So this way you get ribbons if you want ribbons. Um, by all means, 
Use your hair ties. Um, on these ones, since they're thinner, you can use your clear elastic hair ties as well. But this is a hairstyle that I usually suggest for ladies who are going to find themselves in the hospital. Um, sometimes you're in the hospital, it's scheduled. Maybe you're having surgery. Maybe you're having a baby. Um, the thing is, when you're in the hospital bed, they always have you laying flat on your back. And you will get a horrible tangle at the back of your head um, because you sweat because if you're in the hospital there's probably pain involved and you are sweating trust me I sweat when it's painful uh, <laughs> anyways um, yes and you will get a terrible mat and it'll be awful because when you when you're in the hospital you do not want to care for your hair you don't care about anything but please give me some painkillers or I just want to feel better and nobody will take care of your hair the nurses are not hairdressers. They are not there to take care of your hair. Um, you have to do it or you have to have a friend who will do it for you. So if you know you are going into the hospital, braid your hair. I usually suggest this. If your hair is long enough, tape it. Do the French or Dutch braids. Um, I have a practical hair taping video. Do that because you will not have to worry about your hair. And then when you get home, you are not going to have a terrible tangled mess to deal with when you aren't feeling your best. But this is good for any other length, even short hair. When my Graham was in the hospital this past year, I kept her hair French braided in two pigtails. And she did not have a terrible rat's nest. She did when I first got there because the nurses, and she only has a bob, you guys. But... I French braided it. I French braided it and gave her pigtails. And every day I went and saw her, I rebraided her hair. That's the one nice thing about Pocahontas braids. You can rebraid this yourself while you are lying in bed. Um, you can unbraid it and rebraid it, especially my girls that have layers and they get the serious braid shred. Or if your hair is really silky and doesn't want to stay in braids, um, this is one that you can do while lying on your back. You can. Um, It'll keep you from getting tangles and snarls. So, protective style. Now, like I was saying, I'm going to show you two ways to wear this. So my girls that don't have hair that is long enough to wrap all the way around their head um, in one braid, it's probably long enough to do two. You have two options. You can do milkmaid braids. Now, this is not going to be cool when I do it because my hair is too long, but for milkmaid braids, you just bring them up over top, pin, and then the other one, same thing. You bring it up over top, and you pin. Now, you see, I have so much left over. Mine's just going to go around again. But that's what a milkmaid braid is. You just bring it over top, and you pin it. Or if you're going to the hospital, you can sew this down if you want. Your other option, if you don't want to go over top, is to go underneath. Bring around this side and pin or and then same thing on the other side bring it around and pin and then you've got this action going on in the back so you have options if you want to get these braids up myself I leave them down I can also sleep in these sometimes uh, especially if my back's been hurting and I know I'm gonna sleep on my back because this is flat as a pancake so easy to sleep on but yes this is your other protective style double braids you are not too old for Pocahontas braids. You are not. No one is. Trust. All right. That's our hairstyles for today. This is going to end up being a long video, but that's okay. Um, there's one extra thing I want to mention. Since our hair is braided, this is the absolute best time for an SND mission. What does that mean? That means search and destroy. Split ends, guys. So, I have my new scissors. I promise. Look, new scissors. I'm going to try and get behind the camera and show you what I'm talking about. So, when you braid, you get braid tread. It just happens. Uh, your hair is constantly growing. You constantly shed hair. New hairs come in. Da -da 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 -da. So, you have hairs of every length on your head at any given time. And they will pop out of your braids. This is actually a good thing because this makes it able, makes us able to get rid of split ends as they happen 
instead of waiting until we've got to get, you know, one to four inches removed, you can knock out the split ahead of time. Okay. So I'm hoping this will zoom in. Woo, sorry guys. I'm hoping this will zoom in well enough. Ding, 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 ding. There, look, see the hairs? So let's see, see, I have splits here and there. There's one, snip, get rid of that. I just look and see, and then you just snip right above where your hair is wanting to split. That's it. And that will keep your the split from traveling further and further up the shaft and then giving you terrible fuzzy hair. It doesn't look so bad. So this is what I do. Um, especially like right now it's not so bad. You can see where I've got new growth in one section. Um, <laughs> it's not so bad because it hasn't totally shredded yet, but it will throughout the day. It just happens. Um, and when that happens, like usually before I unbraid and rebraid, I will go through and I will S and D while I sit and watch TV or listen to a podcast or whatever. I just clean up any little random splits and then it keeps my hair healthier in the long run. One more tip for my girls out there. If you're going to wear your hair braided for the week, which I sometimes do, um, you can oil it like from here down just a light oil. It'll make your braids really, really shiny. It will help cut down on um, shred because oiled hair tends to stick together. I'm sure you've noticed that. Um, and it'll make your braids really, really shiny. Um, alternatively, um, you can use a hair product. Um, and a lot of girls have reported in that they really, really like aloe gel, the clear stuff that you get for a sunburn. Um, they find that it is nourishing and it will help tame braid shred. So a couple of options if you have shreddy braids. Um, layers are the biggest culprit of shreddy braids. Uh, I did get my hair layered once um, after it was long and I learned all my braids and I cried because I didn't realize how bad it would be. So I don't have layers anymore because of that. Because I like braids too much. Any hoodles. Uh, the English braid. The English braid. Simple, easy, comfortable, protective um, and also Pocahontas braids because I love them and I don't care. Yes, I'm 40. I'm allowed to wear them. So are you. Okay, I will see you next week for our final protective styles. Um, that one will be three just sort of randomy things. Um, it will include the Nautilus. It will include the pretzel bun and I'm not sure what the third one's going to be yet. Um, it's still to be determined, uh, whichever one that I think I probably wear the most in third place, um, maybe spider moth bun, um, yes, because, uh, or the lazy wrap. I did finally figure out how to do that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do three more buns just to give you some options, um, because buns are the most protective because even though braids will keep you from getting tangled. Your ends are still out swishing around in the world. Um, rub it against your clothes and they'll take some extra damage. They just will. So oil up your ends. That might help. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as keeping tangles at bay, here you go. All right. I love you guys. I will see you next week for the conclusion of our Protective Hairstyles Month. Um, have a great day. Yay. Bye.